1959, Philco produced the first all-transistor portable television. However, it was not a direct-view machine. Instead, it used a reflecting mirror to project an image generated by a small internal CRT. The first direct-view transistor portable TV was Sony's TV8 Model 301, created in 1959. It utilized an 8-inch CRT. Sony's next offering was the Model 5303 Micro TV in 1962. It was the smallest and lightest portable TV at that time. Around 1963, Hayakawa Electric of Japan introduced the Sharp TRP601, a 6-inch micro TV. General Electric, Delmonico, and others also offered transistorized tiny TVs during the 1960s. The leader and most successful was Sony, with high-quality construction and design. Many still work today. Here is an unrestored Sony Micro, still working after 60 years. Singer Corporation, world famous for sewing machines, calculators, and other products, announced the Singer TV6 soon afterwards, followed by the TV6 Model U around 1964, which included a UHF tuner. Under the All Channel Receiver Act of 1961, all new TV sets sold in the U.S. after 1964 had to include built-in UHF tuners. By the mid-1960s, Singer Corporation had become a major electronics company in the fields of calculating, computing, aerospace, and consumer products. Singer acquired numerous major technical companies as this chart shows. Singer and its subsidiaries also offered various types of computers. Singer produced tiny TVs with a smaller footprint than Sony, resulting in very tightly packed components. This made the TV6 somewhat difficult to repair. Here, for comparison, are two Singer machines for future restoration. The TV6 Model U included the UHF tuner and was larger than the TV6. Overall, they were similar, with small differences. The Model U was also featured in the February 1965 issue of Popular Science. It sold for $175, equivalent to over $1,300 today. A brief look inside the TV6 shows its tightly packed construction and hand-soldered circuitry. Like the Sony, the all-metal chassis was very rugged. Almost all screws were flathead screws. By contrast, Sony's micro TVs used mostly Phillips head screws. This chart shows comparative data on different models of the time period. By the 1970s, Sony and others increasingly used plastic cases to reduce cost and weight of tiny portables, which continued to grow in popularity. This Sony Micro of 1971 is an example of the plastic case. 